Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at this U2 Dragon Lady spy plane. Now I bought the files for this off of Cults 3D and the designer is PTI Kyle. So P-T-I-K-Y-L-E. And I noticed he had a lot of airplanes on there that he's designed. It seems like a lot of them are based around a 50 millimeter EDF motor. Um, not this particular one. I think he, um, his are based around the um, X-Fly Galaxy. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And they use uh, 40 amp speed controllers and um, four cells. So yeah, so we're gonna be taking a look at the design of this U2 that he did. It's a very nice designed airplane. It has a, um, a wingspan of 57 inches and the fuselage length of 35 and a half inches. And um, I bought these files on um, Saturday night. And, oh, actually just, just, just past Saturday night. And I printed this and it didn't take long to do um, on my printer. And I printed this with Polymaker's um, PLA. This one's PLA and this one's a light PLA over here. The gray one is. And I want to um, first just print it up and see what it looks like and everything. And it's like, it's like I said, it's a very nice designed um, plane. And um, it's semi-scale. And we've got these um, tanks here on the side here. Just regular uh, tanks. Nothing very difficult to do about designing these um, to make a um, form and shape it and um, put it on the wing and just cut this section out right here. You, the wing, use the wing as a, um, a cut tool there. Nothing um, difficult to do. And if I were to design this, um, um, I don't know if I use two bodies or not for this, but I would use a, um, um, a form for these intakes in the form for the center section here of the fuselage. And um, I do like the way um, the wings are designed. The wings are designed hollow and to give the wings their strength, he uses the infield for that. And that is a great way of um, making your wings strong and um, just making them hollow and then using the infill to, um, to do that. Then that way you don't have to do a whole lot of modeling, uh, you know, to get your ribs and formers inside of here. The patterns, um, you can, with some slicers, the patterns are in there and you can select your patterns that you want. And the only thing he, um, you have to do is just put your tube that goes down through here and you just make a circle and um, just extrude that out and um, make it a new body and then hollow that um, tube out. And, um, that's pretty much it for the wings, but um, that's a really good um, way of doing that. I never thought of um, doing that using the infill as strength either. So like I said, every time I buy these files, I learn something new what other people are doing all the time. And that's great also doing things like that. And um, the hatch up here, it comes off and um, this is a press fit type hatch um, goes down in here. So this piece that comes out, it's a press, um, press fit down inside of here. So it's the, this, and this little slot here, it means it's just a little tiny. So when this slides back, it's got enough um, tension on it to hold this back and um, locked up in here. Again, that's another um, great design. Um, I've seen a lot of other people when they come to the designs, they'll put a spring in here, a 3D printed spring um, for that. But um, the pressure fit, the press fit, I like that idea too. Just a lot of, um, like I said, a um, lot of good things when I um, buy these files. And then it has a little um, slot up here that slides into the front. So um, let's see. So this is it right here. This just slides into here but I haven't, um, goes in there like that. Okay, now this is the um, first section here. And down here is um, heavier on the bottom. And to do something like this to um, shell this out, what you would do after you cut this and it's all still one piece, um, you would uh, draw the shape back here and the shape 
um, also on the front here and use a loft cut to um, cut that through there and you put your um, your um, guide rails on the side also how you want the sides to be shaped to get the shape like that um, in here um, next this is a large section here I don't know if you can see down in there but how I would do this once again while this is all solid I would um, um, sketch on the front plane here and sketch this shape here and then on the back here I would um, also do the same thing and then use a loft cut to cut through here and um, do both sides like that to give you that um, opening and then these the sides here you just sketch on this plane here and um, draw these or sketch these over here and then extrude, extrude those throughout the side and I like also that he's got um, a slot on the bottom of these here that goes through the bottom of the fuselage so the wires um, come through here and um, and up to the front he's got on the top here also so like the hatch the EDF hatch on the bottom of it this here the fan this is the front of it, this is the back this will come in here sit in here like this and the wires come out here through the front very nice design um, for the wires on um, on there so it's got um, right through down here and, and runs to the bottom of the fan and the wires will come out to the front if you can see that okay then we have the hatch that just goes to the back and um, this slot here through here goes all the way up through the bottom of the fuselage and um, then we have the, um, the very back end of it and again this I would just use another body to do this section here um, this section right up here and um, shape it to how it needs to be using the form and then um, um, put my wings like I showed you guys how to do um, with the wings and the stab just go through um, the rest of that and cut everything out and again what I've noticed um, on his side like I said seems like a lot of his um, jets used a 50 millimeter, uh, millimeter EDF and um, again that something like that it's easier to model another jet using that 50 millimeter, uh, 50 millimeter EDF because you know um, all its dimensions and stuff and making these hatches becomes a lot easier when you do stuff like that by using the same stuff all the time even like the servos there's several slots um, back here and everything for the um, for the ailerons and the elevator and having those slots and knowing those dimensions all the time it's easy to um, be able to replicate those again in a speedy manner instead of having you know if you're changing um, servos and EDFs all the time and stuff like that you know and um, different design types of features then it takes a long time but it seems like um, his planes are um, um, designed um, to be designed, designed fast and to be built fast and um, so we can get them flying in the uh, minimum amount of time and that's great and um, overall I like this design, design a lot and like I said I, every time I buy somebody else's design and look at them I always learn um, so much more of what to do um, you know to, to teach you guys how to do this type of stuff and also um, like, like I said um, from this design I learned just by using infield instead of modeling the ribs and formers inside of here just using the infield for that then um, saves you so much work uh, from doing that um, so yeah but anyway um, once again you can get these files off of um, Colts 3D go over there and um, look for U2 uh, 50 millimeter EDF Dragon Lady and the designer is PT excuse me um, uh, PTI Kyle I believe that is what it is um, let me make sure it is yes it's PTI Kyle 
and um, he's got several airplanes over there. And I maybe um, if I find something else interesting, I may buy it just to see how he does certain things again. And um, or um, yeah, so I can see um, how he does more things and um, and um, try to incorporate them into um, my designs and stuff like that. And um, and, to, and continue teaching everything, um, what I learn, um, what to do. But like I said, the biggest take from this is the um, the end using the infill. So yeah. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. And if you have any questions about this, um, leave them down in the comments. And I'll um, also invite you to join my Facebook group and my Patreon site. Both are called Cad Bill Fly RC. Go over there and have a look and everything. And um, if you have any questions, you can leave them there and stuff like that. And Excuse me, if you need help uh, modeling airplanes or anything like that, um, um, I can help you on my Patreon site. Just become a paid member over there. Yeah, and um, like I said, my other videos, I'm trying to make this a full-time job, teaching you guys how to model these airplanes and everything. And um, so if you can, just hit that subscribe button at the minimum. But if you want to do more, um, you send a super thing, so join my um, Patreon site as a paying member, and I greatly would appreciate it and, uh, and continue to grow. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.